Hey guys, Tronic here. Yeah, I have some updates for you. As you maybe saw in my last video, um, I installed the APM 2.6 board onto my quadcopter with GPS and compass and everything. And I had quite some issues because I found out that I did something wrong in the compass calibration and also settings. And yeah, I tweaked them a bit, recalibrated everything. And yeah, the quad is flying pretty well, I guess. It's not perfect in GPS mode, uh, which is called loiter mode, but it works. <laughs> That's something to start with. Let's say it like that. Um, yeah, I set up my first mission, did that today, as you can see right now in the video. Yeah, the flying was quite sluggish, but yeah, it worked. It worked. It took a while, but it worked in the end. I, have, I still have to tweak some settings here and there, but <laughs> as I said, it's something to start with. To start with. So yeah. Um, the quad flies great in the manual stabilized mode. It's a lot of fun, and yeah, in loiter in GPS mode. It's still a bit, uh, I don't know, if I let it stand still on a position, it holds it pretty well, but uh, when I start to move, it's not that great, but I can work that out somehow, I don't know. Um, right now you can see in the video, I did my first return to launch test, which worked pretty good. Not perfect, T took a while as well, but yeah, it came back and it landed itself. <clears throat> I almost hit the trees there because I started p pretty close to them. Next time I'm going a bit fur fur further away. And there it is on the ground. Perfect. Yeah, after I've done that, I was going ahead and got into stabilized mode to have some fun, to fly around, stuff like that. Um, it was getting darker outside, but it was still okay. It looks darker on the camera as it was in real. Yeah, did some turns here and there. It worked pretty great. Flies better than my KK 2.1 board. And yeah, it was quite fun. some sharp turns to see how fast the quad can fly it was pretty good but I did a big I made a big mistake yeah you will see it very soon As you can see there, there is a car. I don't know who that was, but <laughs> that guy stopped and got out of his car and <laughs> watched me flying for a few minutes. I don't know, maybe he thought it was a UFO or something. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Okay, um, <laughs> back to the mistake I made. So, ah, you will see it in a few seconds. Um, I did fly away quite some meters. Not that far, but as it was dark, I couldn't see the quad all that well. Um, ah, just a few seconds, the clip will start soon, right now. And yeah, there it is. So I was flying around, flying away a little bit. And then I thought, hey, let's uh, flick to loiter mode while having maximum speed. 
and suddenly, as you can see right now, the uh, quad started to drop from the sky. Motors turned off, or I would, wasn't able to hear them anymore, and I almost hit the ground, as you can see there. Um, that was behind my neighbor's house, so I wasn't able to see the quad anymore. Um, when it was dropping out of the sky, I switched into, I switched from loiter into the stabilized manual mode again, and just pulled up the throttle, hoping that the quad will show up again. And it did. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty close. It was a pretty stupid move. But yeah, nothing happened there. Um, when I got back to altitude, I switched back to um, return to launch, and it came back to me, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now it has gotten dark. I'm heading back home on my last battery, almost empty. And yeah, it was a pretty fun day to fly. I uh, went through uh, three 4,000 milliamp lipos, which was about an hour of flight. Yeah. It was very fun. If you guys have some tips for me how I can tune the quad better to get sta more stable loiter mode or anything, feel free to comment on this video. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.